Hi everybody, this is Kathy, and then this is the first of uh, a four-part video, and I hopefully this first part won't be, uh, part one won't be that long. This part one is to explain what the next few videos are about. Uh, in the next three videos, I'm going to explain how not only Mark Hardy has jumped in to try to scam everybody again with some PayPal money. He is actually piggybacking off somebody else who is running her own scam. And I'm pretty sure he saw what she was doing and he wanted in. And that's where this uh, PayPal, his new PayPal scam comes in. Now in the next few videos I'm going to explain pretty much everything I'm going to talk about in this video. How last year just 12 months ago they had just raked in thousands and thousands of dollars from unsuspecting uh, subscribers of his that uh, donated to a campground for the left behind they were going to make mark and cynthia mark hardy and cynthia paris was going to make a campground for the left behind now <laughs> they they didn't plan anything. They just took everybody's money and bought all these items, such as a camper and some shelters and, uh, oh gosh, I don't even know, know what else. And, and spent thousands of dollars making, of course, improvements to Cynthia's property with septic and electric poles and whatnot. So after less than 12 months, they called it quits on this campground and, uh, I mean, technically, she did mention in one of her videos in a in a brief sentence that it was a bad idea, and it wasn't of God. They both admitted it wasn't from God. It was a bad idea. But Mark has mentioned several times they're going uh, they're going to make friends with Mammon while they can. They're gonna get all the money while they can right now, but. So she said, oh, if anybody wants their money back, just real, just a one-line sentence in one of her rambling videos, uh, they never offered to give anybody's money back. They took all this money, and now they sold everything that they bought from other people's money's donations, and on their own admission, bragging, bragging that they made quite the profit. They doubled their money on this, and I'm not talking just a few thousand and the reason I'm going to show you this is because Mark Hardy claims and brags, let's just be honest, brags that they doubled their money and they gave 100% of it to two women. He split the, it was a $30,000 profit and they, Cynthia gave the $30,000, split it between two women. One is in supposedly in Brazil and one is in Paris, and they never will tell you their names, won't tell you their channels, won't tell you anything. Uh, I happen to know who one is, and I'll go into those in the next few videos, and I'll even tell you who they are here. Um, the one in Brazil, I don't even know if that one exists, but the one in Paris, I do know who that is. And she is a top, she's got to be the, she's got to be the, um, best scammer I've probably ever seen herself. Uh, she has raked in probably $30,000 this year in her scams alone. We'll add up some of it. And the reason I'm bringing this up because, like I said, Mark brags that they gave all that $30,000 to these two women who all of a sudden he's, him and Cynthia are helping these Single mothers and widows with children. <laughs> uh, these two women, from they won't tell you who they are, anything, their names, anything, except they're single mothers, and uh, one lives in, well, Mark can't even remember most of the time. It's, he says it's in a country with a statue. Then later he says Brazil. The other single mother is in Paris, and I do, I personally know who that is. That's the scammer. Now, Mark saw the these large amounts of money 
changing hands and saw that this woman in Paris is quite the scammer herself. Way better than Mark. Way better. Quite successful. She's Like I said, I'll go over just uh, briefly what she's raked in this year alone. But in the last 12 months, I don't even know. But I can count six scams that this woman has pulled. And Mark now is uh, sees what's going on. And he jumps in. And this is August 14th. He jumps in with this PayPal. And uh, linked up to him. Mark Hardy PayPal. He says in this video here. Helping single mothers and widows with children. Yeah. He's going to tell you that uh, her and Cynthia. Him and Cynthia are... Helping out these two uh, women that that want to get ahead. He doesn't tell you their names, anything about them, anything except they want to get ahead. Now, these two women just got $15,000 a piece, if you believe Mark. And, But they need more. He said they need more. So he puts a PayPal on his. Even though they have their own PayPal and they have their own Western Union and the one in Paris has her own channel who's been raking in the, the money and he knows it, he wants in the middle of this. So in this video, guess what? Mark puts up a PayPal, his name on the PayPal, and he says, yeah, we got two women and a sob story about these women. Uh, won't tell you anything about them, what they need the money. He just says they want to get ahead. So he gets the PayPal. Uh, within a few days, there's $900 in the PayPal. Does he send it off? No, he doesn't. He said they're going to save it up for a whole month and then send it. He's going to. Within a few days, oops, there's a problem. It's all going into Mark's account, but he can't get it out. Yep, he tried to get it out, but he can't. Because there's a big problem, lots of problems. He, it's all stuck in Mark's account. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't see that coming, you're sound asleep. Of course it's stuck in Mark's account. Because the PayPal they had last year, supposedly this is what they're using, and it's all in Mark's name. And even though Mark has nothing to do with anything, Cynthia's given, selling everything and giving the money to these two women. The two women have their own PayPals. I know the one in Paris for sure does. She's asking for money all the time on it. She's got her own PayPal. and But somehow Mark wants to jump right in the middle of it. He gets $900 in there and there's a big problem. from Because last year when he had the PayPal, it's okay for the money to go in. But Mark, it has to be trapped in Mark's account because... Last year, the PayPal, uh, Mark threw the phone away, and it had all the PayPal information on it, so now it's stuck in his account. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, you can't make this up. Uh, but don't worry. <laughs> the women are getting a lot of money, okay? They got more money coming in on their own channels, thousands more. And I'll show you that in the next few videos. I, I don't know about the one in Brazil or if she even exists. I'm talking about this born again. Her name is Sandra, and she's in Paris. She's got her own channel. And, uh, in fact, let's so see her channel. There it is. Born again. This channel here. She's the scammer over here, pulling her own scams for the last year. She's gotten $30,000, and I'll show you. I'll show you, according to Mark and Cynthia, on their own account, they're bragging. But I'm going to I'm gonna go over her Six scams she's had where she's gotten this money in the last 12 months. That Most of it in uh, 2021, and we're only three quarters through it. So she's doing pretty good. Mark wants in because she's just raking in the dough. So I'm going to go over her six scams uh, that you're going to see in the next few videos. I'll break them down. But I'm just going to briefly go over these so we don't have a big, long video here. Now... Uh, so back to Mark. So when, when he puts up this PayPal, the money gets stuck in his, but he's, he's telling you that, um, it's for her. They're mostly helping the one in Paris, the one in Paris 
now they're mostly because she's having all these emergencies and I'll go over the emergencies in the next videos. But all this, um, and then in the last few days, he's told you that um, she's, Sandra is gone out of Paris. Finally, she's safe. She's in an undisclosed country and she's living happily ever after. But that's all lies. Now, I'm going to go over, in this video, I'm going to go over, hopefully real quick, now, Mark says 100% of all the money they got from the things they sold. Remember, last year they got this PayPal money and they made this imaginary campground, this campground that had no plans, no nothing. They didn't think ahead. They made this campground for the left behind and they got donations and they bought all this stuff. I'm going to show you what they bought and what they sold. On his own admission, they sold the camper, the two... um carports and his van and they they sent all that money and mark's words on, on in fact these are the videos from the august 14th till today he's bragged about it to all these videos what they did and how much they made and all this stuff they bragged they doubled their money from last year doubled it and all the money went to these to these uh two women so I'm not even going to count the money. I'm just going to count the money that they brought in uh, according to um, Mark's own words that they gave to these two women. All right, first of all, it's the, the camper that they bought with uh, when they were asking for donations. $17,000. This is what they got for it. $17,000. Oh, and that's exactly what they paid for it. Plus, they, they paid for it with most of it for donation, from donations. All right, so they got their 17000 back, all of it back. I'm sorry, not their 17000 uh, the donators. Next, they sold these two carports here that were over above the campers, because camper's gone now. Oh, by the way, these people that own this camper here, these poor people here that came from out of state, put in $10,000 with the septic and gravel and everything else, and they had to go home empty-handed. They're probably out twenty thousand dollars on improvements to Cynthia's properties for nothing. So she got probably twenty. She got electric poles. She got gravel put in. She got septic put in. All from these people here who went home empty-handed when their campground went bust. So they they themselves lost a lot, and Cynthia gained all them improvements to her property. But anyway, so these two carports here they sold on their own bragging admission. And here they are. Mark said they made nine thousand in the videos, and here it is: five for one they got, four for the other. They actually, um, and, and like you said, they doubled their money. So they got, I mean, at a minimum, they made nine thousand. But anyway, they got all their money back, plus they doubled it. So anyway, but just on the sale alone, they got nine thousand here. And then Mark also brags that they sold the van and gave that to the girls. Uh, Cynthia sold the van. So 5700 This started out 9000 but it was such a pig sign, so destroyed, they ended up getting probably half of that. So they got 5750 for the van. And uh, I have to laugh. This is like pretty much... This is pretty much Mark's resume here on the side of the van. <laughs> um... Satan is prince here. Okay, this is this is Mark describing himself in this van. Satan is prince here. He he's ear tickling. Mark's ear tickling. This is this is Mark's resume actually. Satan is prince here. He's ear tickling. He's lukewarm, and Mark has strong delusion is fulfilled totally. There's Mark's resume, but he sold. Uh, Mark, Cynthia sold the van. Uh, and they got 5000 So let's add this up. Okay, so you got 5750 for the van. So remember, they gave 100% of this money to them two women. And one of them I'm going to expose in the next few videos, the scammer. On top of all her scams, this is what she got off of, off of Cynthia. So... 5750 for the van, 17000 Oops. I put 1700 Let me clear that. 
got 5750 for the van plus oops I really got to clear that sorry about that let's try it once more 5750 for the van this is on the bra on their own bragging 17,000 oops 17,000 for the camper and 9,000 off for the car parts which equals 31,750 and he said they gave 100% of all this money to the two girls the two women the one in Paris and the other one in Brazil supposedly so each one of them got 15,875 keep this in mind almost 16,000 a piece and he was trying to get more money for these women and this is just so they can get ahead they don't have any tragedies, nothing like that to, to get ahead. And I'm going to show you detailed what this scammer over in Paris is pulling. Six scams in the coming video I'm going to go over this year. So this, she got one huge check from Cynthia right here, according to Mark. Half of what they made. So this one here got, a, got half of it, according to Mark. And then she's got, I'll tell you what else she's got. She's got... She must have had another 10000 that I can account for. She's rolling in the dough in the last several, since springtime. So Mark saw all the money rolling in and he wanted in. So let's go over the scams that uh, he's dragged him, uh, his subscribers into so he can get a chunk. And this one here is total ignorant. <coughs> And remind ourselves, she's got zero discernment and also the one that had the uh, campground for the left behind that went bust and belly up and took everybody's money and pretty much laughed about it. She don't care. She's taken all that money and split it between these two people. No discernment. And I'm going to show you the one how what I'm going to show you exactly how poor her discernment is. In case Mark Hardy living with her for almost four years doesn't blatantly show the level of discernment, uh, poor discernment she's got, lack of discernment, zero discernment, discernment of a rock. Uh, he's going to remember when he moved into her house. Four years ago, he said the rapture was going to happen in two or three weeks. And she never catches on. Still deceived. Believes everything he says. Believes everything everybody says. And she's just sent this woman in Paris $16,000 according to Mark. So out of her ignorance and Mark's greed, they've, they've just suckered the community out of more thousands and thousands of dollars. So the scams that I'm going to be going over on her six scams in the next few videos, um, I'll just briefly cover them because I try not to make this first video a long one. Uh, so, and, and believe me, I only had f four scams. As I scroll back, I saw a fifth scam and then a sixth scam. And, and I, can't, I can't scroll back anymore. I've only gone back a f uh, just this year. Oops, sorry. Dog is kicking my tripod here I've only gone back uh, you know, a year and she's so first scam that I saw uh, about a year ago or maybe a little more Mark Mark and Cynthia were on her channel and uh, she needed money for legal problems probably a couple thousand dollars she had to flee where she was legal problems I don't know didn't check into it too much but she got the money she's super happy Got the money. Um, she's always paranoid. Always come up commenting she's being spied on by the police. They're watching her and all this other stuff. She had to flee somewhere because, I don't know. And when she left, uh, she owed money on a house and she, whatever. There was problems. So she got money from everybody. I don't know if Cynthia gave her money then. That was well over a year ago, I think. It was, I think, over a year ago. But anyway, that's, so that, that's how far I've scrolled back. And anyway, she got the money, and I'm um, not sure what happened there. But then I saw she had another scam about the beginning of the year, I think, where she needed uh, 
a bunch of money to pay ahead on our electricity. And I don't know if that was Cynthia and Mark's idea because they did that. They paid seven months ahead on their electricity in case, you know, things happen. So she wanted to pay, you know, a thousand or a couple thousand. I'm not sure. Are you, every scam she has, every time she's got an emergency, it's about a two to three thousand dollar emergency she asked for. Two or three thousand. Mostly two thousand she'll get. But anyway, she ends up uh, asking for money for this electricity. And the funny thing is, she lives with her grown son, Kyle, at his apartment. Her and her daughter live with her grown son, moved in with him. Um, so I, somehow she fled the country, but still ended up in her son's apartment. I'm not sure. So you do the math on that first scam I'm talking about. The second one, she needed thousands of dollars for a pay ahead on her electricity. Well, she lives with her son, so... um. <laughs> what anyway guess what she admitted later that she didn't spend oh she also asked for it so she could stock up on food but she didn't really spend it on that she said she's done a good job just saving it instead so she she asked for money for electricity and didn't spend it on that she saved it instead nobody said boo nobody said anything plus she gets into on her channel she gets into these arguments with people that give her money and uh she fights with them and you know, mentions it in videos. Well, I don't care. You know. Anyway, she, she, there's pro, there's issues with money on her channel with giving people giving her money, and I don't know. Then she gets in arguments with them, and there's a lot of just things going on in her channel. So she got thousands. I don't know how, exactly what she got for the electricity and the food to store up, and she blatantly admitted she didn't spend it on that. Of course she didn't. She was living with her in her son's apartment. Then she had another emergency I saw a few months later. And this is this, this, at the beginning of this year. Well, in the springtime, I think. Uh, her son, Kyle, who she lives with her, in her son's apartment. Her and her daughter and her rabbits uh, stay in one room in her son's apartment. And this is in, like, downtown Paris. Paris, France. And so she comes out a, in a video uh, that... Her son, Kyle, is hitting her and her daughter and gotten violent. He's destroyed everything in the apartment. He got violent. Um, and she has to move out right away because now he's hitting the daughter. He even goes into, see, she's into this rapture. The rapture this and rapture that. Always about the rapture and about getting money. It's funny, huh? So she has to leave Kyle's apartment because Kyle's violent. He's hitting her, hitting the child. And I'll get into the next video about her and uh, another video about her that uh, he's doing unspeakable things to her, okay? Plus things she can't, plus private things. So I don't know if that's not private enough. But anyway, all kinds of things Kyle's doing, and they have to flee. But she's out doing the video by herself. She left the daughter home with uh, the one who just attacked everybody. And you got to hurry. Send her the money. It's always a hurry. Hurry. It's emergency, emergency. She needs two more thousand dollars. She ends up with $1,822. Did she move out? Nope. Then she told everybody... Kyle's going to move out of his own apartment with other people, and he's going to take the money. There, everything worked out perfect. Well, did he move out? No. Uh, she slipped a few weeks later and said, Kyle woke up this morning with a rapture dream. Really? Well, so there you go. Again, she asked for the... Um, you know, to flee, to get out of some place for legal troubles, but somehow she's in the same place. She asked for money for electricity, but told you she kept it instead. She asked to move out of Kyle's. It's emergency because they're being beaten here and the daughter. It's emergency. People sent her $2,000. Did she move out? No. Did Kyle ever move out? No. She lied again. Did she give the money back? No, she kept it. She uh, told you first that she gave it to Kyle because he's going to move out. And then later, kind of kind of proved itself out that they're still living together. And then she has, a few weeks later, she's got another emergency. 
actually then then she's showing you that Paris is back to normal, but instead of telling you that well, and the rapture's always any second. But after Paris is back to normal, she's by the way, she usually walks around showing her chest. Showing her chest. Or her splathered on makeup. Her Jezebel harlot face here. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, you'll see that in the videos. Uh, she uses her female persuasion to get the guys to send her some money, if you know what I'm saying. So she gets a couple more thousand. Then, then she, she after she's showing you everything's back to normal, at the same time she's telling you that she has to leave the country because um, she found the only secret country, one country in the whole world that doesn't care about COVID and she wants to go there. She found this secret place. She can't tell you or me. But it's a place where they, the only place in the whole world that they don't care about COVID and she has to get out now. She needs plane tickets. She needs this. She needs that. She ends, she ends up with uh, like almost $2,500. And uh, did she leave and go to that secret cut? Oh, and the only thing she can tell you about it is that it, there's water nearby. <laughs> she can't tell us because we want to go to the COVID place, right? Where they don't care about COVID. Well, Anyway, it turns out she didn't go. She said it was this a big, well, you'll find out. Anyway, again, she got out, raked in another $2,500 a few months later, and did she go to this secret country? No. Turns out the secret country didn't turn out, and it was all a test from Jesus. And then she's got another scam just um, recently, really recently in the last, two, three weeks, where she's got to leave the country again because it's just she has to. And then, so she got more thousands of dollars and then uh, she did not leave the country. Spoiler alert, she didn't. Uh, she disappeared for a little bit. Uh, she ended up over here on Bit Shoot where she is... Still, she, she she never left the country. She's still at her apart Scal's apartment. And guess look at every um thumbnail she uses her chest as a thumbnail. Look at that. <laughs> I told you it's all she does. This is what she does. This is how she gets her money. Anyway, the whole time she's hiding over here in bitch shoot doing videos in her apartment, Kyle's apartment. She never left again. So there you go. I hope this isn't too long. There you go. Um, so that's what you're going to see in the next few videos. Uh, that's six scams right there in, uh, well, 27 minutes. Anyway, uh, stay tuned and you will. I'll go into it. I hope I didn't forget anything. Uh, but those are the scams. And uh, right there is, uh, what, 15, 16,000 plus 2, 4, 6, 8, plus another 8,000. That's. 23,000. Anyway, she and plus plus she got uh money off of Mark's channel. That PayPal <laughs> supposedly uh 900 plus uh a few more hundred plus a few more hundred plus uh all the thousands that she got off of her own channel. She actually has 12 people who are sending her money monthly between like $75 a piece to $300 a piece. She's getting thousands off her own channel. So between her channel and Cynthia and Mark's channel, she's raked in probably $30,000 just in the last several months and laughing and laughing. And every time she says she's going to do something with these thousands, she doesn't do it. And nobody says boo. Nobody, she doesn't give the money back. She just says, well, I use it for something else. Anyway, she just uh, surfaced again uh, two days ago on her channel. And guess what? The, the, the country didn't turn out. She's still back in Kyle's apartment. <laughs> Look at that. A month ago, she disappeared. Got the money from Cynthia. Got the money from Mark's PayPal. Got the money from all her subscribers. And guess what? Ends up still in Kyle's apartment. What a bunch of suckers that never learn. Anyway, stay tuned for the next three videos, and hopefully uh, they won't be too long for you.
God bless and all glory to God.